Hello and welcome guys to a new video today, which is Train Drive ATS 3. I haven't made a Train Drive ATS video in a decade, but now I am starting. I want to do that again. So, and here we are in Train Drive ATS 3 with the first scenario, and let's press start so that we can begin. So, let's go. We don't have to wait for passenger boarding in the beginning. And this scenario is also extremely short. It is indeed. And the sounds we've got on this train are exactly the same like trains in Train Drive ATS 2. Well, I don't know, perhaps they are like that in real life. I, I, I really have no idea. And I mean, it is based on a real route, of course. If you in the in a title screen of the game on the loading screen, then you're able to see that it is based on the Kim Tetsunara line or whatever it's called, and um, yeah, and that we have to stop, and that <coughs> uh, uh, what else? But but that uh, the it might be different than from existing things that are on this route. So let's slow down because I've got the assistant function. Uh, function the assistant function I've got switched off. That means I've got no bell sounds telling me anything what to do. So I have to know myself where to stop and all kind of that stuff. So whoops, and I have to slow down a bit more to be able to get a good parking impact, which I want to have. Now this should be fine. Let's see what the score says. It says 68 points, which sounds really good. Also, what happens if you um, uh, exceed the speed limit by one kilometer per hour? Then uh, yeah, it's death, really, because yeah, you're gonna be stopped. The emergency brakes are gonna be applied until you come to a full stop. Which is extremely annoying, if you ask me. And also, what's pretty weird, Trend of ADS 3 has no announcements. Interesting. So, the speed limit is now 90 kilometers per hour, and we've got a limited express coming towards us on the other track. Which is a new train that came to Trend Drive ATS. Now, and the speed limit at the next signal seems to be 75 kilometers per hour, isn't it? No, it's it up the what? No, I don't have to slow down for anything. Um, what am I slowing down for? I'm slowing down for 65 at the next signal, so let me do that because a yellow signal, like here, there is a yellow signal, which is our signal. And that makes this usually makes the speed limit to 65 kilometers per hour. No idea what I'm just gonna accelerate back to 90. But then I'm gonna go back to neutral, idle, and uh, slow down for 60 at the curve, probably over there. Now the signal is green. Okay. Japanese signaling is pretty weird. But let's uh, just simply stop at this station. Slow down to 40. There we go. How many cars have I got? Six. Is it here? Yes, it's it's here. So I've got to slow down a bit harder. But oops, that was. Whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, stopped. Now this should go. Made me minus minus twenty. Parking impact, I hate you. What are you there for? I mean, if I stop at a red signal during... Not being in a station, just simply a red light, and I stop there, then... It, 
there was no such thing as a parking impact, but why is there then a parking impact at stations? I think the parking impact is there for the comfort of passengers so that they feel comfortable in the train so that the train doesn't suddenly stop yeah making the comfort really bad in the train but they don't make minus points if you stop extremely badly at a red signal which is weird so why do they have it at the stations if they don't have it at red lights i mean i don't want Takeru Ito, don't, don't add it to the red signals. I mean, parking impact at the stations is enough. <laughs> it's too much already. But, um, um, yeah. Also, what is it is something extremely interesting. This scenario is extremely short. The very last scenario with a charter shimmer case. Or whatever it's called that scenario is extremely long and it's, it's it is if you don't have much time it's, it's actually impossible to make it in one go I mean you're supposed you you start at nine o'clock and it ends when does it end at 1 p.m. of course it does now please stop Can you please go back? No, I have to first call making my train late, which in Japan is... Now, why do I have to call? I just simply want to set back. Okay, I am now 18 seconds late. 20 seconds late. So, ATS will be able No, I still want to stop really good, but, but... Okay, that still should make me plus points, please. 76. Whoops. Nope. Now I can set it to forward again. Yeah. M overrun makes me minus 30 points, just like in the other game. The other train drive ADS games. So, Kintetsu Nipponbashi, or whatever it's called. I think that is the station before the last station. So, we're almost there. We're almost at the end. This signal is green, which I really like. The next signal is also green, which I really like. Minus 23 points. A few moments later. So ATS button has to be pushed, and then we go. So luckily, there is no timetable at the next stop, so I'm just looking on. Now, why is it a problem if you go at 81 kilometers per hour? I mean, I would understand if they do it with 85 or 83 kilometers per hour. But not 81. 81 is f totally fine. Nothing can happen with 81 kilometers per hour in an 80. 
I mean, in train drive 80 years 2 you're not even going to be stopped you could, if you have a speed limit. Uh, that uh, And if you travel at a lower speed, then the signal speed... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Mitz? Then you can still... Um, so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. I was playing Train Drive ADS-3 just now, and it went well better than this. Driving without the HUD is, well, without the assistant function is not that easy. This is only two meters. Why can't I just simply open the doors here? It's Japan. Japan. I mean, train train systems are supposed to be really reliable in Japan. But how can it be reliable if you have to wait for 30 seconds before you can set back? Just set back and make the train reliable and on time. Don't stop the train. Or just simply open the doors. I mean, I was still in the platform, so what is the problem with that? Japanese logic. So, and the next stop is our last stop, and I'm more than a minute late. And that is gonna make me minus points. And why? Because it's stupid. And I'm just simply gonna go at 61, I'm just gonna go to neutral. And I'm gonna slow down now. At the, at the, the strongest brake. Well, I mean, there is the emergency brake, but I'm not gonna apply that one. Because there is. Not allowed in Japan. For whatever reason, it's not allowed. I mean, if you have got someone on the tracks, what are you supposed to do? Well, of course, if there is someone on the tracks, they would probably allow you to use the emergency brake. But well, I'm not, I don't know. I really, I, I'm not. A, I don't live in Japan, and I've never been there. Now, could this train just please stop? Now the train is already almost two minutes late, and now it's again it's gonna be it's gonna be two and a half minutes late because of this stupid S H I T. And what is possible to stop the train properly? I don't care what you have to say. What you doing? Okay, that was a pretty perfect stop going backwards. Finished driving at three points. Oh. Okay, well, thank you for watching this very unsuccessful video. I hope you liked it. Finish. Uh, if you did, then of course, um, yeah, do do whatever you want, and um, uh, yeah, I'm now gonna say goodbye, and uh, yeah. See you in my next video. Goodbye.